after your big mouth, because your mouth is also your enemy, but Ambrose is your biggest enemy. A man that can sell the woman he claims he loves for money. A man that can pimp and be escorting a woman, a mother of his children to a prostitution ground and be praying Jesus for her. God go let you sell. And then go home and smoke it, go and wait for you while you're at work. Then you will call him sometimes, yeah, you, know they, you know they move, market know they move or whatever, however you guys say it. That man is your biggest enemy. And up till now, he's still pimping you to be doing this nonsense sagas, shameless, like shameful, disgraceful saga. He's still allowing you to do it. Spoiling the Ajala name. You guys, Ambrose has a brother in Germany. He's also an Ajala. They have a son who is a celebrity. All of this is going to be in the beans. Atwari, you think you know how to drive? I'm already saying too much already, actually. <laughs> I'm already saying too much. I'm really revealing too much that is part of the beans. Atwari, you know and you love how to bring innocent people into your madness, right? Into your saga, how to insult people's mothers, their father is this, their mother is this, their uncle is this, their children are like this and that. You know how to do it, but you know that you have relatives in high places, some of them in high places, and you don't bother, you don't care, you don't mind. You don't. Your in law, brother in law in Germany, he has a son who is a celeb. How do you think it's going to affect his reputation? His image online, when people find out that his uncle is a human trafficker, his uncle, who is Ambrose Ajala, is a confirmed human trafficker, confirmed by uh, Monica herself online, and confirmed by the analyst sitting here, because I will say the one that I saw. Let me start, let me, let's start the beans. In fact, I'm in the spirit. Let me close the door. So, actually, why I can confirm anyway. I'm taking to that Atari is a human trafficker. Atari brought a boa that is her little cousin, a small girl. Atari brought this girl for prostitution. Her name is Eboa. I saw her, my heart broke. When I saw this girl, what can this girl do? Atari took her to the red light district in Amsterdam. This girl was deported. Atwari is calling herself eh, Abi, Madam, I don't do that work. Atwari was not that kind of Madam, like big Madam. She was just hyping herself. She's a failed Madam. She thought, oh, I don't they see small money. Instead of her to use the money, maybe to plan her life, what did she do? She wanted to go into human trafficking. She was a prostitute. She saved money. And then, instead of, I don't know, her decision with Ambrose, they started using the money. They wanted to start their human, like to become madam and to really become human traffickers, right? I'm really giving you this information and I will stand anywhere to say it because it is what I know. Actually, you are in deep, you are in this deep soup. You are in deep soup. Already you've confirmed it that you are a human trafficker. So I'm just giving more details as to what I know. They started their human trafficking ring. They now used Eboa as their first victim. She's a small girl, or she was a small girl, very small girl. They took her there, she started to work. A few weeks later, Eboa was deported. Business collapsed, or business failed. Atari gathered more money and brought Eboa back to, to do what she wanted her to do. Eboa worked again. Eboa was deported the second time. If Atwari ever brought another person. Blessing Injo doesn't know. I'm not going to say what I don't know. I don't know if she brought another person. The one that I saw with my eyes is Eboa. That was deported twice. She was a child. So Atwari, you want to put Eboa's story on the analyst? I should have reserved this for the beans. But since I promised you guys for the eight hours and I hate to go back on my word, I hate to promise and fail. Eboa put the story or rather actually tried to put the story of Eboa on the analyst and i'm going to show you guys proof that the analyst was not a child actually pictures don't lie you're a useless liar and people are going to know that you're a liar and what you did to the analyst was saga and it was a very deceitful one because you changed to, you tried to change a story and you try to lie and twist someone's history that is not there and now it's backfiring against you 
Why did you try to put Eboa's story on the analyst? That, oh, eh, she's small that time. If they carry and go red light, now one one time, nine police go, no, say, this one are picking. That is what happened to Eboa. Atwari, your little cousin. She might be married today. She might even still be watching you, watching what is happening. She might be a mom of kids. Anywhere I see this girl's picture, I, Eboa, if she might have changed. I might not be able to recognize her now. But if you give me a picture of Eboa 20 years ago, put it in the midst of 100 other pictures. I'm going to pick out Eboa's picture because I saw her. You trafficked her as a child. And you try to put that on another person in the name of Saga, telling lies. You're going to be so sorry. You are going to be so sorry. And that's why I'm like, enough. This will not happen to another person. It will not. If Ambrose cannot talk to you or he cannot work, oh my God, my battery is almost dead. If he cannot work full time like other real men out there to fend for his family and he's putting you in the line of fire. He put you in the line of fire. You were already a prostitute because you, you came to the Netherlands for prostitution before he met you. You were already in that line. He didn't put you there, but he supported you through it. He encouraged you. He pushed you. He escorted you. He was there with you even up until when she got pregnant. Pregnancy that was not planned. All of it is going to be out. You think you have a big mouth. But you are going to be sorry that this one that you touched is the biggest mistake of your life. And it's the last one you will do. Another person will not fall victim. I'm going to leave it here. Okay, someone is saying, answer my question. Please, what's the question? I missed it. You guys know I don't answer. I don't read comments. Let, um, let me send this essay away from here. My battery is almost dead. Oh, and I don't even have a chat today. What's your question? Let me see if I can find the question. I'm terrible when it comes to... Let me go to another room and find a charger there. Oh my god, the beans have started. For those of you asking and waiting, let me see. I don't know if you can repeat the question. The only thing that will not make the beans to be sweet is me answering or reading comments because I know there will be so many things people want to know. Ambrose is still pimping at Wari up till today because as a real man, you can say enough. My wife, enough. Let us change our image online. Let us change the way people see us. Andrew, you have a responsible brother in Germany. Can't you emulate him? Can't you just learn from him? And use him as a good example that you have to use less at work. You've used less her life in, in Amsterdam. For so many years, she was giving you money. She was responsible for your existence, for your livelihood. She used her body for you for many years. Your children are going to find this out. How do you think they are going to look at you? How do you think they are going to look their father in the face, in the eyes and say, Daddy, you did that to mommy? I will stand in front of your children and tell them the absolute truth of who their father is. He's a monster. And Atari was saying, yeah, Daddy Cool is a good man. He has a good heart. He rescued you. But Atari... Your daddy cool did not rescue you because you are a useless. You're good for nothing. And he knows you're worthless. Your worth is to be used for prostitution. That is why he didn't rescue you. But you claim he went and rescued another person's daughter that he has nothing with. Someone he's not related to. But you that he claims that he loves. He was using you and you were his cash cow. Monica, are you going to do the paid show tonight? Are you going to continue to feed from other people's pain? Come and hear your history. Let your children hear their mother's history and their father's history. You want to label another person a human trafficker. You want to label innocent people as human traffickers. When you and Ambrose are the real human traffickers who brought a small child called Eboa to the Netherlands to prostitute and was deported twice. 
Maybe that Eboa is married today, like I said. Maybe she has kids. But do you know the trauma that would, might, I, I don't know. Maybe she, she has chested it and put it and buried it. I don't know. But it's possible she cannot forgive herself. She was a child then. It's possible she still has nightmares. My heart broke when I saw Eboa. But I could, I didn't say anything to Monica. I didn't. I'm not going to lie to you people. I didn't say a word to her. Eboa didn't look like she was being forced to do. She was smiling. She was a normal girl. She didn't look like she was being forced. She looked like she knew what she was coming to do. But it's terrible that Anne Bruce used Eboa also. And Monica used her. So, in my opinion, I don't know, like I said, if they brought other people. I know of Eboa alone. So if she did it with other people, I don't know. But she wants to hype herself like, oh, I don't do that business before. I did do business. I did, I be madam. No, you were not such a madam. You were just a cheap prostitute. But you tried to go into human trafficking. It failed because the girl you brought tr uh, twice was deported. So she didn't make money for you. Is it Eboa that has to pay you four years balance? You need to start to confess that you want to put it on the analyst. You, I heard you did a video. You were talking about four years balance. Is it Eboa? Why do you want to put your problem, your history, your story, something that has to do with you? Why do you want to put it on other people? Today, you are going to ask yourself, well, actually, what did blessing do to me to warrant what I said about blessing and her family? That is one question that will continue to haunt you while you sleep. And that is why I will continue to deal with you because I know that what you did and what you said was unwarranted and unprovoked. If you had just kept it as insulting, blessing, you'd be like this, you'd be like that, I would not even bother. But when you cross the line to defamation, you have entered my trap forever. The beans is plenty, my, my people. The beans is too much. It's too big. It's going to take years to finish. And we are going to be pinching it bit by bit. But it's going to be all facts and truth. So Atwari, the failed prostitute, the failed human trafficker, now doing saga to feed Ambrose. Let me see if I can see the question before I end. So the beans have started. Just spread the word that we're just going to be dropping it when we can. Okay. And the craziest part of it, if you guys are very critical and smart, when this madness started with Atwari, when she was talking about the analyst, do you guys remember initially she said, now because of me, now you know do that work, right? She was saying that when it started, that the thing was still fresh, when she hadn't become extra mad. Now because of me, now you know do today, if you go anywhere, claim, say you know do that work because of me, now me do one. You understand? So already she said it that this person didn't do it or this. But later, she now changed her mind. She now wanted to increase the saga. So she didn't know how to come back to say, oh, she did it because she already told you guys she didn't do it. Then she now came back and used another style of uh, every weekend idioma every weekend another city every i was looking at her like you're such a ridiculous idiot do you understand because now you're putting your story ambrose was sending ah jesus you're putting your story on another person and the worst part of it it's someone who knows that story that you're trying to put in on ambrose will book you online ambrose was the one doing the computer work you people would do it with couples. You were doing three sums and four sums. Couples sometimes will pay them. Both of them will do it to each other. Couples will be watching them. They will pay them. They can pay Ambrose to do it with somebody's wife. He will do it and they will pay him. He was also a prostitute, but I don't know what they call male prostitutes. Maybe gigolos? He was a gigolo. Your story is dirty and you want to lie about another person's past you know the craziest part and you know you're, why you're going to suffer actually for what you did because you've done it i've said you have gone away with it so you've gotten away with it so many times but this is your last bus stop with the wrong person i'm sure you didn't think it would get this far i'm sure you didn't think it would get this far but this is why you're going to suffer so much this is why you're going to, and ambrose is also going to suffer because he joined you in that lie 
just because of money. So if she knows what is good for her, just start confessing all your sins and all the lies. Start with the baby Vela and start with this picture. Why Ambrose was putting you on sites? Why? Because the side thing came after they got my or fake all the, the nonsense marriage they said they did. White gown party. That website thing, they started it after she moved in with him. Because she moved in after she got pregnant. Invite everybody you can invite. Share this video because the beans has just started. I didn't plan to do it, but I'm in the spirit and I'm going to do it right now. So she was in Amsterdam. He was in Dave Inter. They were dating from the moment that I knew them in 2002. They were dating and she was prostituting in Amsterdam. From 2002 that I knew them till 2005 that she got pregnant. And then she had to pack her load. She decided to pack her load. I don't know. Somehow, somehow she found herself in Deventer. Started living with him after she got pregnant. So it wasn't like he married her and then they started a family. No. Liar at Suari. And then you want to talk to other people. When you were prostituting in Amsterdam, do you know how many junkies slept with you? And they paid you. You will call people today, Kokobiri. Do you know how many Kokobiri slept with you? People from Ghana, people from Zimbabwe, people from Togo, junkies, people from Malaysia, tourists. Amsterdam is the sex city of the world. Everybody knows red light district, Amsterdam. Atwari was working there behind the glass window. 100% fact. My eye reach up. Atwari, it's not allowed to take pictures at the red light district. But people have their way around taking pictures there. Police doesn't work around there giving people uh, fines for taking pictures. But people hide and take pictures. You didn't know. You didn't know. So, anyways, from that 2002 to 2005, she was always there in Amsterdam working. She only moved to Deventer when she got pregnant. She had to, it was unplanned. She moved to Deventer earlier in 2005, and then in November they got married or they did that white party. Should I even go into I think I'm just going to go into it since we've already started. They did it in November. She was heavily pregnant when they did that white white gown party in november <laughs> oh jesus i i'm feeling like i should say it but oh i should just keep it for the beans for the proper beans and then you want to you want to come and insult men you want to come and insult people do you know the caliber of people? Atwari would sleep with secondary school boys that were learning how to do that thing. They will pay her and she will keep the money in her pocket. And you want to come and talk on social media. Every kind of person, Atwari. Do you know how many young boys you disvergent in the red light district, Amsterdam, Atwari? For money, they paid you. Do you know? And then you want to come and call other people's wives prostitute when you are the real one that you even confessed yourself on social media because you talk too much because you have a wide frog mouth and ambrose is your accomplice you people you will never forgive yourselves for what you thought you wanted to do to the analyst i'm your worst nightmare i promise you and it has to stop my end goal is not to saga if i just say all these things and it just ends like that and you continue tomorrow then i have failed my end goal is actually to stop damaging people's lives with lies on social media. That's not what... Actually, you live in a civilized, advanced world. You cannot be doing this in 2022. Like, I, I'm not understanding. Hmm. Someone is asking. <laughs> They're asking about Papa Uwaila. Me, personally, I, I would like to talk to Papa Wala first, before anything, to be honest. He needs to give me, because at the end of the day, somehow he's also innocent, because he's been dragged into a lot of things. I would personally, I've not looked for his number, but I would personally, if he can reach me, I would personally want to talk to him first. I'm not that person that wants to drag everybody, like, okay, 
let me victimize him also just because of the nonsense Atwari is doing on social media. I don't want to do that to him. He has a family. But if I talk with him first, then I will know what I can say about him and what I cannot say about him. Not because I want to cover for anybody. But the man has been dragged well enough. The thing I'm going to just say right now is whatever Atwari has done, eh? Whoever she has slept with, Ambrose knows. Ambrose is aware. 100%. So there is nothing like Atuari cheated on Ambrose. If Atuari slept with anybody, Ambrose is 100% aware. That is how dirty they are. And I, I don't want to talk too much now. Let me just see comments. Uh -huh, they are crying here already. You people have not seen nothing. That's why you will be sorry. Hmm. Okay, I think we should leave it here. I'm going to come back later. I've said <laughs> I'm going to come back later for the apology video. And um, yeah, let's see how things play out. Let's see how things play out. If there are questions that I missed, you can drop them in the comments. I'm going to post this picture. So what we are going to do, I'm going to post this picture as a normal picture. If there are questions, um, let me see, let me see. Yeah, if there are questions, just drop them under the picture. And then definitely I'll be able to read them. Okay, thank you all for being here. Share the video, share the video. And tag Nancy, tag Nancy, because Nancy is her god. She said, eh, I go come just Nancy about your history. Which history? You want to tell the same lies you told about your former best friend? The same lies. The same. <laughs> the same lies. That's the history. And you are saying, eh, you come and tell them about somebody's history, about someone's past. You know that the past is the past. And we know everybody has a past. Even if that past you're talking about is a lie. But you want to destroy somebody's past, right? But somebody is ready to destroy your present and your future. How? Who is going to feel more pain? Who is going to be more affected? Both your present and your future is about to be transformed. And you want to dwell in the past that never existed. A past of saga. That you want to use saga to lie about. That all the lies you told... We are, we are about to debunk them in, in the beans to show that, look, this is what she said. Look at it. Look, this is what she said. Look at it. Pictures are going to fly out. You're going to be sorry. Okay? So all that nonsense, let's do paid show today. Let's do paid show tomorrow. Damaging people's reputation. Enough. The beans is going to be coming out now. Every I will be trying, like every now and then, I'm going to be uploading, uploading. Because if I have to say, let's do everything at once, it's just too big and too much. I think people will be bored sit down, sitting down three hours to be watching. You understand? So it's going to be coming bit by bit. You say, Nancy, don't run things. No, she has to know. She has to know. And like I said, I can stand anywhere to say what I know. I will not come and do like life saga, uh, uh, this and that, so that to tarnish her image. No. I will just say it the way it is, what, exactly what I know. So she wants to tell Nancy lies about someone's past. But Nancy is going to find out the truth about your dirt. You and Ambrose, because of money, the things you people can do. You are slaves to money up till today. Money should be your slave, but you people have enslaved your future. Your reputation. You don't care how people see you. You don't care if you are raving mad every day on Facebook. Seven times a day. You come on live video. You come on live video. You don't care who is watching. Ambrose was asking you, do you know there are people of reputation watching you? You said, yes, of course. I'm going to play the longer version of that video. You hear the questions he was asking. And she was saying, yes. So you know, but you don't care. As long as there is money. How much is it at the end of the day? How much is it? Is it worth it? And I'll still ask you this question. By the time I start to reveal the impact of my hand in your life, I will start asking you again, is it worth it? All your years of prostitution in Amsterdam, can you still show the money today? No, it's all gone. If you could show the money, you wouldn't be mad today on social media, 2022. 
you wouldn't be. But you didn't make money out of it. It's not worth it. That's why Obaseki possibly was trying to protect other girls not to have that past and use to it against it. Because you want everybody to have a past like that. The people who were victims of it, or maybe they didn't know better, it's unfortunate. But if you have been through it, you should be the one advocating against it, not still promoting it. Ambrose is using you. He's your worst enemy. Selling you. You were a young, vibrant, you know, just a young girl then. I can't, I can't just believe how disgusting both of you are. When he knows you've gone to the red light district, you've slept with everybody who is willing to pay you peanuts, and then you still come back, and then he will still touch you. Like, which man does that? Is that love? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, just help me share the video. That's why your beans is being served gradually. I know the video you did, you were saying, uh, you, you better be good beans. So, the one way I don't go free stand up, I don't go free work the next day. No, be just anyhow. Uh -huh. You see, this one that I just did now is nothing. When I say this one is nothing, hmm? it's nothing to, to be compared to the actual beans. So this, even this one now, I know how you're going to, I know how it's going to disrupt you compared to what is about to come. And some of it, you're already feeling it. You're already getting it indoors. Hmm? All right. So thank you all. Share the video, share the video, share the video. Actually, receive sense. Hmm? Change your ways. Go and start thinking about content. All these ones you're doing with your shameless lovers. Hmm? Lovers who are troublemakers. Lovers who just see you mad. They don't, they, they don't mind you just being the way you are on social media. What, what are you trying to win? Which battle are you fighting yourself? Somebody called in, in another person's show yesterday to make peace, to apologize. Look at how you responded to that. Because you don't care. Because your family image and name is already damaged. So you think everybody is mad like you to allow their family name to be dragged. You don't respect the name of your husband's family. You don't respect that family name. That Ajala name. You don't respect it. That's why you have the courage to continue to do what you are doing. And I'm sorry for that son of your in-law in Germany. I'm sorry for him because there is no way his name will, there is no way people will not find out that his uncle is a human trafficker. He's an Ajala also. Hmm? Alright. I'll leave now. I'll catch you guys later. Please share the video. Thanks.